triumphant music! Where Billy's identity gets revealed to these guys. They didn't know that before? No, they, uh... What happened was, uh, Billy got attacked by a snake and couldn't breathe in his helmet, so they had to remove it after they walked out and then walked back in. It's very confusing. I thought... How did they not know that it was Billy, though? Well, you have to wonder how people can't connect the dots when they specifically say the rangers' names out loud. <laughs> Sometimes. Alright, I guess this is one of those instances where you just don't ask. Yep. So now we are on, uh, the power transfer. The last episode with... Well, technically, last episode with the characters... Jason oh Treat god, it's Goldar. Yep, he's back. <laughs> but not as bad this time. He kind of harasses you through the whole level, but there's not really technically a boss fight for this level. I love how the sound effect for him flying, too. <laughs> yep. Yellow Ranger's special attack is she throws her dagger, basically. Alright. Don't ask how she gets it back. Uh, scorpion rules, I guess. Probably the same way that uh, Kimberly gets her arrows back. Point. But the same way the, uh, the Black Ranger pulls an axe out of nowhere. I, I guess it's kind of sad that it's gotten to the point with video games where I question how somebody gets like a thrown item back, but not how they like where they were keeping it in the first place. I just assume that they had a bag with infinite space. Well, the normal answer would be a wizard did it. In this case, Zordon did it. <laughs> Can't even talk about the background this time, really. Like, where is this supposed to be? Uh, in the show, this was some, uh... Oh gosh. Some planet in a far-off system where the sort of power where they could transfer the black, yellow, and red powers to the new people were. In reality, from the uh, episode of Die Ranger it was taken from, I'm guessing it was somewhere near the finale. Where, like, the city is in ruins. I don't know, they I'm didn't... just guessing. <laughs> they haven't they actually seen the rest of Die Ranger. They didn't think it was you know, a good idea to bring to attention where you are. Yeah. Right. It was at this point that uh, some of the uh, Yosef's Machinas of the show got ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Finally, Goldar oh. goes away. All right. But now we have perpetually falling uh, bombs, rocks, something. <laughs> Either way, those things are not going away. <laughs> Luckily, they hurt the putties just as much as they hurt us. Goldar is just sitting there with a bag full of rocks. I can do this all day. Yep. This is where you really get to see all the uh, point totals of the coins, because they pop up everywhere. For whatever reason, the putties love to drop power coins at this level. It's because they looted the bank of the planet. Yes. <laughs> it just happens to use Power Rangers themed currency. The game does not want you to have that coin. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just finally give up on it. <laughs> I love how the putties were hit by the rocks before they even got on screen. I know. I guess it was Goldar around this finally point where decided. I just gave up on all coins in general. <laughs> Unless yeah. they were right in front of me. 
I guess Goldar just finally decided that uh, the plays are expendable enough. If they were gonna do something already, then they would have done it by this point. That one they want to get since that's more lives. <laughs> yeah, it seems like uh, anytime Goldar shows his face, <laughs> more lives is always the way to go. In the background there, you can see Serpentera, Lord Zed Sword. His only weakness is it has about a five minute power life. And it is zapping an upside down pyramid. And the boss, per se, from this level is this statue here. We need to break it to get the sword. Wow. We don't even get an animation for it breaking. 